Hi, Sarah Sisson here, owner of lovelightroompresets.com and the creator of DPS's new 101 Landscape Lightroom Presets. I've been so excited to develop the set of landscape presets, especially for DPS. Landscape photography is its own specialty, and often presets designed for portrait or general use just don't achieve what we need them to when applied to landscape images. After 10 years as a full-time professional landscape photographer, I've packed lots of editing knowledge gained over that time into creating what I call one-click presets that will give you fantastic results, whether it's through subtle enhancements to your images or totally transforming them. For me, presets have two main uses, to speed up our editing workflow and to inspire creative direction with our images. So I want to briefly show you the preset bundles included in the 101 Landscape Lightroom presets and how easy they are to use so you can get the most out of them and really enjoy the creative process of editing your own landscape photography. The presets are arranged into thematic bundles. There are three seasonal, spring and summer combined, autumn and winter, and these presets have been tailored to the specific colour and lighting conditions that are peculiar to each season. Then we've got black and white presets, which will convert your colour images into stunning black and whites, and monotones, which will give your images a one colour tone. Then there's creative presets, and these are about trying out and applying different creative styles to your images. So creating some more drama or a vintage look, or perhaps a modern matte look, or really working that colour in your images. And finally, I've included as an addition to the 101 presets, a bonus toolbox. Now the presets in this act a bit differently to the one-click presets. They are simple editing adjustments specifically useful for landscape photography and designed to be stacked on top of each other to edit an image. Right, let's see how to put the presets into action on some sample images. It's a very simple process. If you've never used presets before, there are really easy instructions on how to install them included in the package. Once they're installed, they'll appear over on the left-hand side of the Develop module, under the Presets panel, and each folder will have the prefix DPS 101 Landscape Presets. I've got a selection here of both RAW and JPEG images. Now, I'm a big fan of shooting and editing RAW images wherever possible, but these presets will work just as well on JPEG images. Let's work with this example. Clearly, it's an autumn scene, so I'm going to apply a preset from the Autumn collection. What I need to do is click this little disclosure triangle on the left here to reveal all the presets in the folder. Now the great thing with presets is that we get a preview of the effects up here in the navigator window just by hovering the cursor over each preset, as you can see here. To apply a preset, you simply click on it and the effect is applied to your image. Now if I really wanted to boost the yellows, I could use luscious leaves, which gives those yellows some real punch. Or perhaps for a more mellow look, one of the soft fades, such as here, soft warm fade. I think I'm after a slightly artier look, so I'm going to apply Forest Glade, which really creates a lovely focal point towards the centre of the image. Now, I find that presets do about 90% of the heavy lifting for an image edit, but I almost always tinker with a few settings to get the exact look that I'm after. Mostly your first port of call is going to be adjusting the exposure. I think the image here is a bit too bright for my liking, so I'm just going to tweak that exposure down fractionally over here in the basics panel. Now, let's have a look at a before and after comparison, and I'm doing this just by clicking Y on my keyboard, which brings up a before and after view of the image. Now you can see that I've made a substantial change to the look of this image with one single click and one slider adjustment. It's that easy. So these 101 presets have got so many options to cover all your basic landscape photography needs, dealing with overexposed skies, dull foregrounds, washed out colours, dark shadows, etc. But there's also tons of presets that are literally going to transform your images creatively in as little as one click. So let's have a play with some of the more creative presets on this image of Milford Sound, which was taken on an overcast day. It's stunning scenery, but let's face it, it's looking pretty dull like this. Okay, so let's open the creative folder and have a look at what we can do. Alpen. Wow, straight away we've got fantastic detail coming out in those clouds and rich warm colours in the foreground. How about this next one, Altaview? Altaview is a great one. It removes all the cooler colours from your shot 
and leaves you with just the warm ones. Big colour love, really punching some colours into that shot. Dirt Road, quite a grungy feel to the image. Now you can see here this is a shot that one click hasn't quite achieved what we'd like it to with the preset. So how about we go and make a few changes. And here's where the bonus toolbox that I've included comes in handy. So if we open up the toolbox folder, we can come down and see there's things like smart exposure, minus 0.5, minus 1, minus 2, plus 0.5, 1 and 2, etc. So let's try a few things. Let's add a bit of exposure in there that's lifted the foreground nicely. Still got that out of balance between the darker foreground and the lighter sky. So let's come down and use one of the grads. Now you can see that we've got this fantastic detail and drama in the clouds which I'd like to bring out more. So let's use one of these cloud drama grads and I'm going to use this one the top third. And there we go really dark grey foreboding clouds. That's made quite a change to that image. Okay, so let's try out another image. Here's a winter one, so let's use the winter presets. I'll find my winter folder and just click on that little arrow to reveal the presets. Now, snow is always a difficult subject to shoot because it's easy to lose detail through blown out highlights. I've got some really dark shadow areas in this image, but I want to keep that detail in the snow. So let's try out some of these presets and I'll keep up this before and after comparison so it's easy to see the changes that one click makes. So I'm just hovering the cursor over each preset for a preview in the navigator panel. This one looks good, blue skies. Yeah, I like that, but perhaps it's still a bit dark in those shadow areas. Let's keep going. Ah, crystalline. Now that's great. That's lifted those dark shadow areas nicely and hasn't touched that detail in the snowy hills behind. Job done. One click presets really can be that simple. 20 to 30 fiddly adjustments, all achieved in just one click. But remember, the editing power is still in your hands. All the adjustments that have been made using the preset are shown over in the adjustment panels, and you can alter any of them to tweak your image further to your liking. So there you have it. That's a quick overview of the DPS 101 Landscape Lightroom presets. They are a fantastic tool to have in your landscape editing. They're available to purchase right now, and I know you're going to love the results on your work. Thank you.